In this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the internal rate of return on an HP 12C financial calculator. So we'll start by looking at what IRR actually is. Fundamentally, the very concise version of it is it measures the profitability of an investment. The higher the internal rate of return, the better. Companies are looking to get an internal rate of return that is higher than the cost of capital. The actual calculation of the internal rate of return um, ignores the cost of capital and things such as inflation. That's why we call it the internal rate of return as opposed to the rate of return. Another important point is, as always, we've got a sign convention with these cash flow type calculations. So when you've got investments or outflows, we take these to be negative, And inflows, so that's cash that you're receiving, we take those to be positive. So let's just do an example. So you build a care home and you spend a million dollars building this care home. That's a total investment that you're putting out and it produces the following cash flows. This care home is very profitable. So first year we've got 250,000, second year $300,000 and so on. So how do we do this calculation on the calculator? So the first thing we have to do is put the investment in cash flow zero. This is like our start value. So turn on the calculator. So remember our, um, our investment was a million dollars. So we need to put a million into CF0. So we put in one million, these commas will help you get it right. And we need to change the sign, because this is negative. Don't use the negative key, use the CHS button always. And then put this into the cash flow zero. And the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna use the G key and then press the present value button. So that puts in the correct memory. So let's go on and add all of these cash flows. We're going to put these in cash flow J. So that J is like your counting number. So J is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's going to correspond to the year. So we're going to have cash flow 1, cash flow 2, cash flow 3. And that will go into all of the cash flow memories. So to do this, we're doing very similar to putting in the investment. So here's our table of cash flows. Move the calculator up a bit so you can see. And so we're going to do 250,000. Type the number in first, obviously, and then press G. And you've got cash flow J is on the payment button. That's that one done. Then we're going to do 300,000 G payment. Then 320. Um, 340 goes into payment and finally 370 and that goes into payment as well so we've got all our cash flows put put into the correct memories so the final step is to actually do the calculation and do this we just press function so that's the F button, the orange one, which lets us access the orange um, functions, and then press FV, and this carries out the calculation, though it takes quite a while to do because there's a lot of data that it's working with. But the answer that you'll get is 16.3. And so if you had the cost of capital at about 10%, then 16.3 would be a good return because you're actually creating 6.3% of value, you could argue that. So yes, we get 16.3 as expected. So all you're doing with these internal rate of return calculations is putting your investment into cash flow zero and all of your cash flows received. So you're adding the cash flow that's going out and cash flows going in. These are all net cash flows and you're putting them into CFJ and then do the calculation. It's very simple to do an HP 12C. So hopefully this has explained this properly and thank you for watching.